So, we're on our way to Taza. Can I move? Today, I'm traveling 80 miles to Taza and then on to Oujda, where the original colonial line reached the border with Algeria. In this much less developed half of the country, I'm hoping to find traces of the original narrow gauge railway constructed during World War I. The terrain here is extremely harsh for building a railway. The modern standard gauge line I'm on today has literally dozens of bridges. You can see an old bridge down there. It's amazing that it's still standing because in the winter that would probably have every chance it should have been washed away, but it's still there. The line also boasts some very old, long tunnels. So I think we're just coming into a very famous tunnel here in Morocco. It's called the Tuaha Tunnel. Oh, that's it, that's it now. There we are. Um, it's, it's one of the longest in Africa. It's over 2,500 meters long. The French used more than 2,000 workers and engineers along this stretch of line. But when you think how long this one tunnel is alone, and it just seems to be going on forever, that isn't actually that many people because this tunnel will have taken probably several years to build. It must have been tough enough for those 2,000 trained workers. Hard to imagine a small gang of French soldiers doing the same thing a decade earlier. We don't know much about this place, except that it's very, very hot. Um, and it's actually called Taza. Now, this may not be much to anybody else, but most of my mates call me Tarrant. They call me Taza. So I've got my own, my own town, Taza Town. The town of Taza, Taza Town. Are you all right, Taza? Taza is one of the least visited cities in the whole of Morocco. It has an unspoiled, authentic charm. But there's not really a lot to see or do around here, unless you like old railways. On the outskirts of town, I'm hoping we might find some of the original narrow-gauge tracks. The only thing I can really work on is there is a river running along here. Now, the railway the modern railway goes over the river at this point, and you think, if they did build a narrow gauge railway, they, they too would have to cross the river somewhere. There's the new bridge going over the river, and this could be, I don't know how old, it's hard to tell, because it's got to be, if it's the right one, it will have been built in about 1910, 1912. So that could be, that could be the railway there, and then, because if you look back, that raised bit, that is actually pretty straight. I might be kidding myself, I don't know. I'm going to follow the line from here to see what I find. It is so hot. The temperature guy says it's 51. This is just hail in a tin can. Now see that, that is fantastic. We've been hedge hopping around, following my straight path that kept appearing and disappearing and going up up olive groves. But look, this is the new line. And this has got to be the old original French narrow gauge line. And that tunnel actually, the line's gone, but that tunnel looks pretty sturdy. Fantastic. C'est bon, monsieur. Ah oui.